During the latest installment of BBC's Antiques Roadshow, Fiona Bruce and her team of experts were at Cliss Old Park in Stoke Newington. Occasionally on the roadshow, guests bring in personal archives they have kept in their possession after finding them, shedding a light on the history of the item. One guest left Ronnie Archer Morgan amazed when presented with Althea McNish's textiles from the early 1950s. Impressed at the array of colors and patterns which had been spread out on the table, Ronnie began, when you were unpacking these. When you came to me at the beginning of the day and you looked up and said to me have I heard of Althea McNish, I responded have I heard of Althea McNish. I went to an exhibition in the Tate where she was featured called Life Between Two Islands and she had a cabinet and some exhibitions of her work. Now tell me how you got this amazing archive. The guest explained, 2020 December, builders were throwing stuff away, I was a cheeky chappy, asked them if I could have a look, buy some bits and bobs and done a deal. Ronnie continued. She was probably the most influential post-war textile designer that Britain has seen. She bought the color and vibrancy of Trinidad to the shores of post-war Britain, at a time where we really needed color and she did all these fantastic designs that you've seen spread out on the table. She did designs for Liberty. We have Liberty textiles here, Jacques Mer, I actually have this scarf. I actually have it in a different colorway, with green instead of brown there. She did stuff for Christian Dior. She did these beautiful swatches, I mean, these colors are amazing. She actually designed for the royal family, didn't she? The guest agreed, correct. I believe in 1966 she designed the royal wardrobe when Queen Elizabeth went round the Caribbean. Impressed with the workings of Althea, Ronnie exclaimed, she was extraordinary, I love these here, designed for Danisco of London. I mean look at that. The guest also dived into the textiles with Ronnie and said, and the contrast between really soft silk, really feminine. Don't miss. BBC Breakfast's Nina Warhurst leaves co-star blushing at intimacy joke, watch, starstruck outrage as Shania Wayne's replaced over scheduling conflict, insight, Helen Skelton emotional over broken Gethin Jones, latest, 50 years and the colors are still as bright and radiant and vibrant as the day she just scribbled them. Look at that, I mean that is unbelievable. Ronnie added flicking through the swatches. Well, I think we've explained what this amazing woman has done. What she brought to textile design in England and, you know, we're on the road show here and did like to try and value this. I know that half a square meter of certain of her designs can be 2,500 pounds or a textile design itself can be that sort of money. From what you've told me and what you've described and what I know, I think this archive that you've brought to us here is worth the excess of £250,000. It needs to be calculated, but, it's amazing and it's amazing that you've brought it here to us today. Stunned, the guest quipped, that's blown me away. It's just been an incredible journey of learning and knowledge, I've loved every minute. Thankful, Ronnie added, I feel lucky. It's great to have met you, it's great for you to bring these things here to us today. Before leaving and taking his fortune with him, the guest told Ronnie, You've made my day, honestly, to which he laughed and agreed, well, you've made mine. Antiques Roadshow airs Sunday from 8pm on BBC One.